Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today we are working on um, just the dailies that you need to do, that you can do, I should say, um, for Dark Moon Fair. So Dark Moon Fair started up yesterday. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to find one of the Dark Moon Fair mystics in your main city, either um, Ogremar or Stormwind, and you're going to teleport to the main area, click on the portal, and you'll end up on the Dark Moon Island. You can also fly there. Um, I don't know where it is outside of Ogremar, but outside of Stormwind, it's just um, south of Goldshire. So, uh, mount up, fly around, uh, run down. You can't fly on the island, but you're going to follow the path down to the main fairgrounds. And you can see on the map just kind of where it is exactly. Um, and so, the first daily we're going to do is the uh, hammer time one. And the goal of this one, I should know, you'll need uh, tokens to do all of these in a I didn't grab any extra, I didn't show where they were until the end, but you want to hit um, either the regular, regular gnolls or the hogger. Hogger gives you three points, regular ones give you one. Don't hit the baby, it stuns you for a little bit. And you need 30 points, so 10 hoggers or 30 regular gnolls or some combination of each. And really just look for the hoggers and then on your way to them, hit the single point ones in between. You'll get have plenty of time to do this. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I find it easier to just use my mouse, use um, W to move, or to go forward, use my mouse, right mouse button to steer, and then my left mouse button to, uh, or use my, yeah, right mouse button to steer, and then my right mouse button just to kind of click, or you can press 1, either way. Yeah, and you can go past 30 points, but once you get 30, you can hand in the daily, you'll get bumped out of the area, but you get the dark moon gift package prize thing and you'll get some tokens you get some chance to get other stuff and you can see where the tickets show up it's under currency um and the next one is the canon one so you can uh Interesting. again grab the daily and then launch me use the dark moon t game token and what you want to do is you want to mouse over your character five like this four. Three, and so that you're two, you can see one. directly under you and then as soon as you get towards the end of the uh, as soon as you get towards the end of the uh, dock um, or the boardwalk you can press one to lose your wings and you'll drop and you should get relatively close if you want to teleport back you can run back teleporting's easier make sure you get rid of any uh, spells that you're using to walk on water and then, like I said, so this time I didn't get it completely. I uh, got almost, so you get three. You can get one point if you get on the edge. You'll get three if you get close to the middle, and five if five, you get relatively, four, like, right three, in the middle, pretty much. Um, and I managed to get it on this go-around, so. That was and You can see the buff is different. You get the bullseye one. So we'll uh, levitate up again. Go back to the mage guy. The teleporter. And go back. Hand it in, get your prize package, etc. So the next one is the shooting one. Um, so you're going to, again, grab the daily, and then you want to use... I use my right mouse button, and I just kind of tilt my character screen. You can't use the left one, because you don't want to change your view on the character. You want to change your character's view. And you want to just line up your character's view with whatever one is um, showing, and then you press 1, which is your shooting one and you can hit each one twice. Um, if you hit them fast enough, you will get the quick shot buff and you'll get two points, I believe. All right, you just have to go to 25. This one takes next to no time at all. And yeah, again, if, you, again, if you're really fast, you'll get double points, but they might have taken that out because I didn't get any this time. That's kind of rare, but regardless. So that's how you do this one, and then as, again, as soon as you get 25, there you go, you can hand it in. Five. And that's it for this one. And the next one is the Tonk one. This one can be a little bit tricky. Um, it usually takes me two, I lucked out, I only needed one go around this time. So all you do is you mouse around, and you press one, and you want to line up in front of the targets, the Tonk targets, and shoot them. If you get close to an enemy one, you'll get marked. And you'll need to use your nitrous boost, which is the two button. Um, and yeah, they'll uh, they'll chase you for a bit, but you can okay, you can see I got marked run away. So press two to speed up, and then you can run away. Um, 
the big flying zeppelins will not chase you but they will target you with their things and one hit pretty much finishes you so you'll need uh i believe it is 30 points is it? yeah it's 30. you can see i'm almost out of time but i did manage to get it quickly enough one. So I was able to hand it in. And that's all for that one. Just avoid the other enemy tonks and the zeppelins as much as possible. And then the last, well, the sec sorry, second last one. This was a new one they put in um, when they put in the pet battle and stuff. And it's, uh, you do a pet battle. And you fight a magic, you fight a uh, beast, and you fight a mechanical. Um, and you get the tickets but you also get the dark moon pet supplies and there's a special pet that has a chance to drop them um so i'll just show you so you end up fighting a magic eye um the dark moon the dark moon eye the dark moon monkey and the dark moon tonk essentially but he has them named and that's it that's all there is to this one um yeah so you can see i kind of mucked it up the first time but okay and then the last one is you have to throw rings onto a spike on a turtle's back which is really really easy he stands still in short little spurts of time so as you can see i didn't use all my rings and i already got the three that i needed so that's it for that one and uh, so that's it for all the dailies um when you you need to one token to do it each time and if it takes you multiple attempts you'll need multiple tokens so you need to go to a token vendor and they sell them in groups of five and groups of 20. and that's it Hope you found that helpful, guys. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.